Disturbing news tonight that our broken borders are potentially a, a terrorist threat. A DEA report, in fact, showing that radical Islamists in this country linking up with Mexican drug cartels, the very same cartels we reported on here early in this broadcast. Those radical Islamists are entering the United States, posing as Hispanics, and joining me now with more on this story, Congressman Ed Royce. He's the ranking member of the House Foreign Affairs Subcommittee on Terrorism and Nonproliferation. Uh, this, uh, this news emerging from the Washington Times, uh, finally gaining access, access uh, to this DA report. Uh, your reaction, Congressman? Well, Lou, this backs up some of the reporting, some of the testimony that we heard from local law enforcement down in uh, Texas, in Laredo, Texas, about the, um, the difficulties they were seeing uh, locally there. And, and now the report spells out how people are going to the county court and changing their name, changing their identity from an Arabic background to a Hispanic one, as well as the concerns about these links with the cartels. Uh, you, ha you held hearings uh, on the uh, subcommittee on nonproliferation, terrorism, uh, foreign affairs. Uh, how, how does uh, what you're learning today uh, differ from the results of that hearing? Well, I don't think it differs from uh, what we learned in the hearings, we, and we've heard in the past our FBI director Mueller say that there was this phenomenon of people changing their identities who were coming from the Middle East, from Arabic uh, to Spanish, uh, but uh, it shouldn't surprise us that much. We, we remember that Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, as, as well as al Zarqawi, both talked about launching attacks on the soft underbelly of the United States by coming through our borders, our poorest borders, and given that reality, uh, don't you think, Lou, it's time that this government ask why we haven't secured those borders? Don't you think it's time when the, when the Border Patrol tells us we have yet to secure our borders? Why isn't that fence, uh, th that act, that uh, Fence Security Act that we passed in Congress, that we funded yeah. last year when the Republicans still had control, why is that not being built right now or being finished right now on that border? Well, well let's explore that. Uh, we are documenting from two separate government agencies from the hearings that you held, uh, your subcommittee, uh, th of this threat. But whether, I mean, this says it's, I mean, this demonstrates that it's real, that it has happened. And the idea that this administration, I have to ask you this, sir, as a, a Republican, uh, part of the leadership, one of the uh, uh, leading members of Congress, the 109th Congress, now the 110th under Democratic control, why has this Congress? the Republican Party and the Democratic Party not demanded that this president enforce border security? Well, I think that's, that's the thing that's most upsetting to me because in a way, when we passed that Secure Fence Act, we provided the billion plus right. to continue building that fence. We provided the authorization to do right. that. No, and now we watch as the Democratic Party tries to prevent Right. the funding and as we watch as the president doesn't with all haste proceed as though our national right. security is at risk Lou, well, our national security is at risk the 9-11 commission's right about that as you know I, I you know i'd like to be fair and balanced when it comes to uh, uh, critical judgment of being applied to partisans in this the fact is the republican uh, secretary of the department of homeland security has refused to move ahead with that fence has played every game imaginable to avoid securing that border and has been nothing more than a political functionary in support of this administration rather than a man taking seriously his obligations to the safety and the welfare of the American people. Uh, do you disagree with that assessment? Lou, I think this is why it's so important that we remind the American public of what Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and what El Zarqawi right. and others in Al Qaeda have said about hitting this country. The American public needs, needs to get behind an effort to get that border fence yeah. built quickly and to revise our immigration laws and to enforce those laws. The heat, when they feel the heat, they'll see the light. And it's up to the American public to apply that heat right now. Well, Congressman Royce is uh, telling it as it is, uh, contact your congressman, contact your senator. Oh, by the way, everybody has to be tremendously relieved that given the issues of facing this nation, uh, the Republicans in the Senate uh, in particular uh, joining to uh, resurrect comprehensive immigration reform, as they like to call it, uh, the disaster of a piece of legislation. Uh, now they're going to reform the reform legislation, they say. Well, your reaction? Well, we defeated it once. Uh, the American public defeated that, Lou, yes, and, and with did. a little help from the broadcast community that got the information out, we need to get the information out again and 
kill the bad bill and go forward with application of the laws already on the books, that's going to require the American public being, being uh, as outspoken as you are on this issue. I hope they'll follow suit. Thank you. Congressman Ed Royce, we thank you as always for being here. We appreciate uh, seeing you. Thank you. Thanks, Lou. Still ahead, the results of our poll tonight. We'll be right back. Stay with us.